Good morning ladies and gentlemen, Strad Gamer here, joining with a new Anno 1800 episode. And today it's gonna be a quick episode. We're looking at the new Vibrant City Pack cosmetic DLC. There was a quick um, dev blog about it. There will be a stream about it also soon. So let's dive right in on what it is, what I think about it, what you may also think about it. Love to hear your thoughts in the comments below, also on my Discord community. And lastly, I will also be continuing to stream my new series. If you want to check that out, don't hesitate to check on the channel. Um, at the top of the channel, you can see when um, you know I'm, I will be streaming. Okay, so this new DLC is a cosmetic DLC once again. This, uh, it won't change any of your gameplay, but it can definitely um, do a lot for you if you are I mean, my, uh, a beauty builder, sorry, or if you're just a casual player. This is uh, also in terms of cosmetic DLC, there's different DLC, some of them bring new ornaments. This one, it doesn't, it brings new skins. So it's very similar to the vehicle livery pact. Um, which you know was bringing sk different skins like this for all of your ships and, and vehicles, uh, like the trains. They trains. So this you know is uh, the same. It will be just reskinning uh, assets that you already have. So no new ornaments, at least as far as I can see. Uh, if I miss that, don't hesitate to to check to tell me in the comments below. Um, why you know this. Uh, vibrant city pact this uh, skin you may ask well there was a, a poll you may have missed it earlier in the year and actually this one was the one who won the most uh, votes i think you know you can see it here it was almost uh, 36 percent of votes were for this one where pedestrian actually only had on 30. so uh I mean, the community voted, <laughs> I won't, um, you know, I won't comment on that. I guess it means indeed that there is a lot of beauty builders in the community, people that really like uh, to be able to change skins of building, things like this, because it was definitely uh, clear from the start. Now, in terms of what we get, we get 69 new skins. Um, this is skins for each of the buildings, population buildings. Uh, so your farmer house, worker house to up to your investor houses um, and you will also get some uh, other skins that we're going to talk about it just after but before we do so on the 16 skins you know what what do they look like well, the first interesting thing is that it's not just 69 completely different random ones it, they are into themes um, there is one on color colorful skins we saw some um, you know, some uh, view of that in the past. This image is not new, but yeah, you can see below those new colors for all these new these houses. Then there is a brick theme. You can see all houses, uh, bricks, um, facades. Then inverted theme, which is, you know, you take the same set of colors uh, as the current one but you invert them like between the roof and the um, uh, you know the the walls type of things the walls windows uh, doors and then lastly an interesting one especially at night as you can see here the casino theme um, which will be for your tier four and five which makes sense right the, something like theater like this or, or casino um, I don't know what it says here, but um, we don't really make sense on a small <laughs> farmer house, but definitely does on on your larger ones. Um, so this is all about the houses. You can see some different ones um, all around here. So do tell me if you're excited about that or not. And then, you know, we go into a few other skins, which is on the marketplace. Because yeah, your marketplace only has one skin right now. Well, that is not fully true. There are some mods on that I've reviewed on my channel before that can change how the marketplace looks, even the size of the marketplace, um, so that you can have different marketplaces across your city and also closer to um, 
to your higher tiers um, of population. So once again, it seems that the DLC is just making, in a sense, base game, something that was already done by modders by bringing new mod models uh, for the marketplace you know, to, um, to the different tiers. If I understand correctly, we're going to have three new ones, three new skins uh, like this one. So that is all about the Vibrant City Pact, of course, like all of the other DLC, uh, cosmetic DLC, it will be um, basically five euros or your regional equivalent. It's coming on December 14th. And remember, there is also on the 6th, if I'm not mistaken, of December, a stream on, um, on the official Ubisoft um, stream for this DLC. Uh, and also for the new game update 13. So definitely let's uh, not miss that. So do tell me in the comments below what you think. And I don't want to bias you. I think you now if you're a beauty builder, of course, being able to do some of these things like this is very interesting. But one thing I do want to mention is at this point, they haven't confirmed that you're able to change a lot of houses at the same time. So, you know, if you have a big um highland with hundreds of houses if you need to change them manually one by one to do something like this um honestly i don't know many people are gonna do that right um if there is a tool to be able to do it you know select for example shift uh with a lot of houses then i think that can be quite nice you know you can have a whole neighborhood like this a whole neighborhood like this a whole neighborhood uh, in the center of your city with this skin you know that that definitely will make some cities a lot more amazing than they already are today so uh, i can see the appeal then but if they, we don't have that tool um, yeah i don't know i'm I don't know, I, i'm definitely not the one that's gonna jump first to to buy it in that case so yeah i hope you like this episode don't just press the like button and share in the comments below what you think about this DLC and also any requests that you may have for future Anno 1800 video. And I hope to see you next time.